All right, it's Sunday, Soapbox Sunday here. But before I get to my Soapbox issue of the day, I do have a couple shout outs that I want to give. So I got to put my glasses on. So I want to give a shout out to my friend Adina Laver and her daughters, Talia and Naomi and all their friends and a few other women's, another woman who dares, Susan Tabor Kleiman, a woman named Kathy who I met today. Um, Adina uh, started a, a community service project on Martin Luther King Day. She participated in putting a library together for uh, children in a place called Methodist Services. They provide life enriching programs for children, um, adults and families as they face challenges of limited resources. So it could be increased poverty, homelessness, disabilities, um, deficits in education. This building was amazing. This company, Methodist Services, I went there today um, to complete the project that Adina was helping um, Carol, who runs the program with, and uh, finished putting the library together. So shout out to some real moms who dare today and some amazing teens who showed up to help. The other thing is before I get to my, my soapbox issue, I just have to follow up because a lot of you know my soapbox has been really focused around cell phones and I just have to share what happened. So last week I go to a restaurant to meet somebody and as I'm sitting there at the table next to me, not only, this was the first, not only was the guy talking on his phone, he had it on speaker. He was in a restaurant talking to somebody on a speaker. I'm done. I, I don't understand. Cell phones are ruining everybody's ability to to, to just tap into common sense, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Courtesy, common sense courtesy. Anyway, that's not the issue for my soapbox today. So first I have to preface this, um, that I love my children. I have two amazing, amazing kids. And they were home over winter break. And when they left, big shout out to them. Both of them left the rooms like pristine. It was, I, I thank you, Ellie and Daniel, great. But when I went into the bathrooms, to just grab some of the towels that um, maybe they had left behind, I found something. And I think I failed as a mom. This is my soapbox issue. I want to know who taught my children, who taught my children to do this to toothpaste? People. I posted this in my Moms Who Dare group, and so many moms told me that their kids do this too. Who taught my children how to do their tooth, mutilate their tubes of toothpaste? I failed, failed as a mom. So let me tell you, don't assume your children know how to maximize and roll from the bottom. Teach them, because this is what I found. Anyway, sorry, Ellie and Daniel, I love you guys. Um, that's my soapbox issue, issue for the day is, you know, fix the toothpaste people. Roll from the bottom, squeeze it out, maximize it. And um, I really thank everybody for joining me. But before I sign off, right, I'm gonna give some shout outs because it's the end of the video. Hey Jody, Angie, really? I know, I don't understand. I never would have done this. I think I'm gonna go out and buy the hard tube that stands up and they won't be able to do it. So anyway, I'm gonna reevaluate my parenting skills all because of this. Happy Sunday. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And Robert Friedman, I saw your hello.